Live from Las Vegas, it's theCUBE. Covering Dell Technologies World 2018. Brought to you by Dell EMC and its ecosystem partners. Well, welcome back to Las Vegas. The Cube, continue our coverage here of Dell Technologies World 2018 with some 14,000 strong in attendance. This is day two, by the way, of three days of coverage that you'll be seeing here live on The Cube. Along with Keith Townsend, I'm John Walls, and we're now joined by uh, Alex Ameda, who is a consultant uh, product mark in consultant in product marketing That's at correct. Dell EMC, yep. and Bob Bender, who's the CTO of Founders Federal Credit Union. Bob, good to see you as well, sir. Thank you, thank you for having me. You bet, thanks for being here to both of you. Uh, first off, let's just set the table yep. uh, for what you do at Founders and, and what Founders is all about and then why Dell and how Dell figures into your picture. Sure, so Founders Federal Credit Union is started, established in 1950. We're a regional financial institution providing basic services for that area in South and North Carolina. We now service over 32 uh, uh, areas and we have about 210,000 plus members. Okay. So I'm Chief Technology Officer and we're looking to Dell EMC to really, uh, really give us a lift in the cyber resilience of our, our data and what we're trying to protect today. Yeah, Keith and I were talking to us, so we always like hearing on the customer side of this, especially on the financial side, right? Yes. Because your concerns are grave concerns, right? We all care about our money, Yes. right? And, yes. and obviously that's first and foremost for you having trust credibility, viability, so tell us a little bit about that thought process in general, what drives your business, and how that then transfers over to the IT. Sure, and it, as a member, you look at us, big or small, you expect the same cyber resilience protection for your personal information. You don't, you don't think there's going to be a difference there. So if you look at the Carolinas, you're going to see a significant, or the Southeast, we've been picked on with malware, with that data extortion of what the name ransomware. So we had to find a solution quickly, and we looked at Dell EMC for data protection and cyber recovery to really help us in that area and really protect our data. So let's talk about some of the threats faced. Uh, outside of malware, typically the line of thought is, you know what, don't assume that you can prevent getting hacked, assume that you are hacked, what personas do you guys wear at the bank or at the credit union? Well, we looked at that and, and what we did is we, we get really involved and we go out and we see that event and that the breach, the, the malware, the ransomware. And so we really thought, let's, we lack the ability of bringing assets under governance. So how, how do we really bring that, roll that up so that everybody knows at any point in time we can recover, that we have kind of an isolated recovery, an air gap or a data bunker, mm -hmm. and then a clean environment, a clean room to bring that up, a sandbox. And we really saw that our tape, our tape media backup recovery was not going to recover for the events that were happening. We're not, the old days you're looking at one or two critical systems that are being recovered. Today, they're locking 500, 1500 servers in a matter of minutes. So when you rehydrate that data, you know, the deduplication, we're seeing 72 to one. And, we, and that's done very fast through the product lines of Dell EMC, significant. But when you want to rehydrate that, tape is gone. It's just not there. Well, if you take away that, take away that air gap situation, you ha what are you left with? And if they're smart enough to figure out where your backups are, you're left with no protection. So we really needed to isolate and put off network all that critical data. And because of that 72 to one dedupe rate, and I realize we may be unique, there's others that may have to choose what those critical systems are, we're not going to have to. We're going to protect everything, every day, and so that we have a recovery point that we can point to and show management and our board and our members, such as you guys, that we can recover, that you're going to have trust in us handling your financial responsibilities. So what, what specific technologies are you guys using from Dell to create this uh, environment in which you can recover within these isolated bubbles? You know, I'll, I'll let Alex talk more specific, but we really looked at the data protection solution and the cyber solution. We, we said phase one, we want to stand this up very quickly because it's any minute this could happen to us. Mm -hmm. uh, it's happening to very smart establishments. So we really, we really picked 
what was going to optimize our first iteration of this, and we did it quickly. So we were talking to roll out in 45 days. Uh, we, you know, we used Data Domain, Avamar, uh, DD Boost. We've, we've got Data Protection Advisor, which gives me where I'm here, or I've, I'm off at another conference, or I'm showing up at the office. I get instant results of what we did the day before for that recovery. I know that we, we, we're in the petabyte storage business. I don't know when we cross that line, but now we store, you know, like a huge amount of data very quickly. I mean, we we took their product line and went from hours down to seconds, and I can move that window every any which way I want it. And so it's just it's empowering to be able to use that product line to protect our data the way we are today. Yeah, I think the the Dell EMC cyber recovery solution really um, is is kind of looking at solving the problem, most people look at it from solving it as a preventative thing. How do I prevent malware from happening? How do I stop ransomware from attacking me? And the thing is, is that it's all about really how are you going to recover from that and having a plan to be able to recover. And with the way we approached it, we started talking to customers like Bob and, and they were really coming to us and saying, you know, this is increasing. This is an increasing problem that we're seeing and it's inevitable. We're, we're going to we feel we're going to be attacked at some point. And you see on the news today, you know, we're only a little bit through the year and there's been a lot of, of news on, on cyber attacks and things like that. Um, the key thing is how do you recover? So we took, we took a look at that in conversations with our customers and went specifically back and designed a solution that leverages the best in industry technology that we have with our data protection portfolio. So when you look at data deduplication, you look at data domain, that technology in the industry provides the fastest recovery possible. And from there, um, that makes it realistic for companies to really say, yeah, I can recover from a ransomware attack. And the more important thing is, we look at this as the isolation piece of the solution is really where the value comes in. That not only is it to get a clean copy of the data, but you can use that for analysis of that data in that clean room to be able to uh, de detect early on problems that may be happening in your production environment. Um, and it's really important that that recovery aspect be stressed and, and really the data domain solution is kind of the enabler there. It's still a really tough spot to be in, right? Because on one hand you're protecting, you're trying to prevent, so you're building the fortress as best you can, and at the same time, you're developing a recovery solution so that if there is a violation, an intrusion, you're going to be okay. But the fact is, the data's gone. You know, it, it went out the door, and so I'm just curious, psychologically, you know, how do you deal with that, with your board, with your ownership, with your customers? How do you deal with it, Alex, yeah. to your customer, to saying, we're going to do all we can to keep this safe? Absolutely. But, so that but is a big caveat, right? So how, how did both of you deal with that? Yeah, First uh, off. Yeah. Well, I'll, I'll say this, working with the Dell EMC engineers and their business partners, we, I'm sleeping better at night. And I'm not just saying that being here. I'm, I, what I mean is that they've, they've shrunk my backup window. They've guaranteed me reporting in an infrastructure IQ of that environment that I have more insight integrated, so across holistically my enterprise. So no longer am I adding on different components to complete backups, this backup, this, this company, this, and it doesn't, I just never get that insight, and I never really have the evidence that we're restoring. I can do the store and the restore at the same time and see that in, in next day in reporting that we're achieving that. Mm -hmm. So I, I, I hear that but, but that but, is a little quieter because right. you know it's just a little less impactful because I'm confident now that I've got a very efficient window. I'm not affecting again with those add-on ad hoc products. Not not condemning them, but they they're impactful to critical applications. I see response time during peak times. The product doesn't have that effect, and and, it, and it's really exciting because now I can. You know, I've got a rip and replace, I've got a, 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 a lift and shift. You, you decide what the acronyms you want to add to it. But we, the big thing I want to add, and sorry to ramble here a yeah, little. you're fine. Nice. Yeah, yeah, is our run books are becoming smaller. And this is, this is the less complex. So I now are taking keep the lights on people that are very frustrated with our 
acronyms and our terminology and the way we're going, and I'm starting to bring them into the cyber resilience, cyber security environment, and they're feeling empowered, and I'm getting more creative ideas, and, and that means, more creative ideas means we're back in the business solving problems, not worrying if our backups are done at two in the morning. Yeah. And from a Dell EMC perspective, I think we're really uniquely positioned in the industry in that, not just from Dell EMC, but look at all of Dell technologies. Right? When we incorporate the fact that we have best in class data protection solutions to do operational recovery, disaster recovery, the next logical step is to really augment that and really start looking, looking at cyber recovery. Right? And then when you look at that and you look at the power of Dell Technologies, it's really a layered approach. How do I layer my data protection solutions to do operational recovery, to do disaster recovery, and then at the same time, throw in a little RSA and SecureWorks in there into the picture, and we're really uniquely positioned as a vendor in the industry. No other vendor can really handle that breadth in the industry from a cyber recovery standpoint when you throw in the likes of RSA and SecureWorks. So Alex, let's drill down in the overall capability versus the rest of the industry. There's been a ton of investment in data protection, 90 million, 100 million. We're seeing unicorns pop up over just this use case of data protection, and they're making no qualms at it. They're going right at the data domain business. What is the message that you're uh, going out and telling end users like Bob that, the, you know what, state of course, data domain, the portfolio of data protection at Dell is the best way to recover your environment in case of a breach. Yeah, absolutely. So in terms of that, what I say to customers that I talk to every day around this that are maybe doubting um, you know, going forward and what they're going to do um, is that we are continuing to innovate. The data domain platform continues to innovate. You see that in our cloud scenarios and, and the cloud um, you know, use cases that we're talking about and really kind of working together with our customers as a partner on how we apply things like cyber recovery for their workloads that go into the cloud. Right, and that's really through that working relationship with customers and that very strong investment that we're making on the engineering side with our roadmaps um, is, is really what customers, at the end of the day, become convinced that data domain is here to stay. So Bob, I would love to follow can up I, on Can I add on to that? Please. You, you know, I think there are a couple of things you pointed on that I, I probably missed is, one, you've given me options. I could be on-prem or off-prem or back to on-prem. And, and that is with the product line. And again, that integration across that, I have to have that insight. But at the end of the day, Dell EMC's product line delivers. And that's what we experience in our relationship. We're not, we're not talking about I'm 72 to one dedupe rate. I, I know that's, I, I triple check the facts. It's like, really, we're achieving that? But that, that's in, impactful to my project lines, right? I'm no longer a bottleneck because I'm back at the projects and we're getting stuff moving and we're just not, we're not confused by the technology or the, the way we have to, the, you know, kind of band-aid them together. It's just one, one place to go and it delivers. And we see that delivery, especially with the growth of the uh, data domain and the addition of the sandbox. It's very exciting. We're seeing some great performance on our new systems. Yeah, and we, we hear that a lot about the flexibility of the portfolio and the data protection. The fact that Bob mentioned it many times, making the backup window disappear yes. is really where the heart of it is. And now Bob's team and all the customers that I talk to and their teams can go off and actually move the business forward with, with more uh, innovation and bringing more value back to the business. So part of, part of security is disaster recovery. Do you guys integrate your disaster recovery practice as part of your data domain uh, implementation? Well, I think that's a great question. We, we challenged our DR group, external also. We saw incident response component, uh, just a big empty hole, it's missing. And I think that's a change in mindset people have to, to implement, as you pointed out. Incident response is going to be before the disaster. And if you don't stand up, your, your, look, our data's gone mobile. That means it's everywhere. And we have to follow it everywhere with the same protection because that's who, in the end of the day, no matter where it's set, we own it. We're responsible for it. So we have to go after it in the same protection. So I, I think it is, it is part of that. We're integrating it. I think we, we confused a couple companies with that, but you got to stand up those foundation services, the cybersecurity, the data life cycle has made the cybersecurity become much more uh, complex. And the use, the business use of that data 
is becoming more demanding. So we had to make it available, and then, so we had to be transparent with these products, and kudos to Dell, EMC, and all the engineers making this happen. I, I don't know what I would be doing if, if it wasn't there for me. Well, thank you, Bob. Yeah, you know, and, and I tell you what strikes me a little bit about this, as we have just a, a final moment here, is that when we think about um, um, invasion, cyber invasions and violations, mm -hmm. what have you, we think about it on a global or a national scale. I mean, you are a, a very successful regional business, right? Yes. And you are Perry. just as prime of a target uh, for malfeasance as any, and you need to take these prophylactic measures uh, just as aggressively as any enterprise. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. If you look at the names, I mean, you just go down the list, Boeing, Mecklenburg County, uh, uh, City of Atlanta, I, I, you know, not to name them and pick on them, but right. they're still recovering. Sure. And, and our business resilience, our reputation is all we have. We're there, you know, our critical asset is your data. That is what we say, you know, the story we tell is, is how we protect that. And if, uh, that's our services. And if at the end of the day, you don't trust our services, what are we? That's right. Yeah. Not, not enough just to protect and prevent, you have no. to be able to recover. No, so to have a business partner that really understands, and I know I'm a little, maybe a little smaller than some of your others, but you still treat me like I'm, and you still listen Absolutely. to me. I bring you ideas, you say, this fits. Let's, let's see what we can do. Your engineers go back and they say, you know, we, we can't say yes, but we can say we're going to take a different way approach and they come back with a solution. So it's very, very exciting to have a partner that does that with you. No, it's a great lesson. It is, it's great. Although, I, as I say goodbye here, I am a little disappointed when I heard you're from South Carolina, I was expecting this wonderful southern accent to come out. Uh, <laughs> it's just, uh, hey, Bob, what happened? Uh, you know, I'm an Iowa boy. You got a little Yankee in you. <laughs> yeah, right. there you go. <laughs> yeah, they, maybe right. they'll say a little more than that. All right, <laughs> gentlemen, thanks for being with us. Thank, Thank you very much Thanks for, for sharing us. the uh, Founders Appreciate Federal it. story. Back with more from Las Vegas, you're watching theCUBE, we're at Dell Technologies World 2018.